you know what's going on next time here on Defy Now. What a matchup this is going to be a Shaft back in action. Going to battle with the unhinged Seattle native Darby Allen, who's known to fly off balconies using his body like a missile. We're going to find out if the powerhouse Shaft can outlast the unhinged assault of Darby Allen. It's the final stop before their matchup against No One Lives for the Defy Tag Team titles. The American Guns take on Randy Myers and Joey Ryan. How's Randy going to be able to contain himself teaming with the Phallic Phenom? And up next, King Cash squares off with the debuting Luchasaurus. This creature's been transported from the alternate universe of Lucha Underground here to Defy. Does the rich kid from Tehran have enough to stop this six foot four reptilian oddity? We're going to find out right now. Let's go to the ring. And before this matchup gets underway, we say thank you to our Defy On Demand subscribers. If you're not a subscriber, why not? It's just $3.99 a month, and not only do you get every episode of Defy Now, you get great stuff from around the world of professional wrestling, including stuff from Progress, Best Wrestling, PCW Ultra, and many, many, many more. Just $3.99 a month, DefyOnDemand.com. Check it out right now. Also want to let you know about the Defy Holiday Party taking place December the 15th in Bellevue, Washington at the Lunchbox Laboratory special live Q&A. Brian Alvarez from Wrestling Observer Radio is the host. Lance Storm, his special guest, is going to be surprise guest as well. More information is available at DefyWrestling.com. There is Luchasaurus, all six foot four, 240 pounds of this uh, Half man, half reptile. First ever match up here in Defy for this creature. We've certainly seen a lot of oddball things here in Defy. I don't know anything quite like this. And just to tell you a little bit more about the Defy Holiday Party coming up in Bellevue, Washington on December the 15th at uh, Lunchbox Laboratories Event Lab. They've got arcade machines, huge TVs that'll be playing wrestling and a full bar. You get uh, your food and drink is provided, two domestic beers or sodas, uh, your choice of sliders, the Defy Holiday gift bag, and your photo with our secret Santa plus entry into a drawing for exclusive indie wrestling ring-worn collectibles. Sounds awesome. It's in Bellevue, Washington. Tickets are available and very limited at DefyWrestling.com. And thanks to all of you watching on the Power Slam Wrestling Network. It's another option for you to check out Defy Now and other great independent wrestling, whether you're at home or on the go. Download it today on the App Store, Google Play, and if you have Amazon Prime, you can check out the Power Slam Wrestling Network on Amazon Video. In action on Defy now. He came up on the wrong end of a matchup with Sonico. Pretty big upset for Defy's resident luchador. Your Roberts. Still don't understand why the fans don't like that official. So obviously a much uh, different type of, a, of an opponent here, to say the least for King Cash. This gentleman who sees himself as a, uh, a half dinosaur, half reptile, half, half uh, human, I guess. Well, I suppose that would be a third of each. But Sonico, 
obviously uh, employs a lucha style. Smaller competitor, quicker competitor. So how is Cass gonna try and adjust his, his offense here in this matchup, his tactics against a much bigger opponent? I don't think Cash has seen an opponent this big in Defy as of yet. I'll tell you what though, for a big guy, uh, Luchasaurus, pretty agile. Whoa, there's a big boot. Still not exact. <laughs> half Lucha, half Soros. Well, there you go. Still not exactly sure what to make of this guy. Oh, little boy. Now I understand that the business manager for Luchasaurus once appeared on not only The Price is Right, but was also, oh, also on the television show Big Brother. Oh man, what a headbutt. Fake the big boot. And a kick right to the bread basket. Not even a full suplex. Like a suplex toss. Incredible strength by Luchasaurus. Uh-oh. Tied up on the top rope and Cash with an enziguri sending the reptile man down to the outside. Cash wind it up. Oh! There's the attitude that we've come to expect from Cash. But on the apron, quickly countered with a swift kick to the shins. And now several shots to the sternum. Faked it again and instead connects with a right hand. Cash crawling back. At this point, I guess, to the relative safety inside the ring. And now Luchasaurus, smart, rolled under the bottom rope and went right to the corner. But Cash is still able to take advantage. Spike DDT. And the Persian prodigy now with an opportunity to go to work. This youngster came to the United States at the age of 10 from Tehran. Quickly fell in love with professional wrestling and it was a chance encounter with the one and only Brian Danielson, Daniel Bryan, that really led to Cash. Oh, bit of a gourd buster there. But that uh, conversation with Daniel Bryan led to Cash training with the late great buddy Wayne. All sorts of innovative ways to twist you up and tie you up, but Luchasaurus. Trying to get out of it, but it is Cash applying the pressure to the extremities. Cash very wisely making sure his shoulders are not down on the mat. Shin knee combo right to the back of the skull. And an old school knee drop. Down comes the knee pad. Shades of the nature boy. There's a little bit of a strut while he's at it. Persian prodigy Cash. Oh! We're gonna get some momentum back after that loss to Sonico a couple weeks back. Luchasaurus back elbow. Cash out of the way in the corner. Oh! Roundhouse kick. Oh, a series of shots and Cash is in trouble. Big German suplex of the release variety.
with momentum. A couple of shots in the corner. Fireman's carry. Oh! Plants him, and that could do it. Cash out at two. So I was saying before that the business manager for Luchasaurus supposedly was uh, a contestant on The Price is Right, was on Big Brother. Will not admit that uh, he himself is Luchasaurus. Oh! I don't know if it's some kind of like incredible Hulk Bruce Banner type thing where he morphs. But right now, needs to kick out and does it too. It was like split personalities. Cash chirping at the official in his native Farsi. Took a little too much time there. Nice kip up by Luchasaurus. And uh oh, looking for a choke slam. Cash looking for the full Nelson. Cover. Cash to put it away. Luchasaurus out of two. One more time for the choke slam. No. Cash rolls him up again. Luchasaurus out at two once more. A right hand by Cash stunned the beast. Luchasaurus answering back down to one knee. Uppercut. A high knee connected right in the base of the chin. Cash answers with a knee. And another vicious headbutt. Incredible strength by Luchasaurus. What's he got here? Oh, man, spinning knee. And maybe looking for that choke slam one more time. There it is. Wow! Standing moonsault. Cover. And Cash again out at two. My God, this guy is incredibly deft, incredibly agile. Six foot four, 240 pounds or so, and he moves around like a lightweight. Anybody's matchup now. Luchasaurus to a fighting position slightly just before Cash connects with a kick. Cash in a tough spot. Pretty much dead on his knees. Well, maybe not. and hook the leg, and that allows Luchasaurus to power out. Nice counter by Cash, showing some of his natural strength. And this matchup back to stalemate status. Still on the way, our main event this week. It is ravenous Randy Myers going one-on-one -on -one with Johnny Defiance. You don't want to miss that, so stick around here on Defy now, but right now it is Cash. Missing. Luchasaurus again showing some of that natural speed that he has. Oh, man, what a knee. This guy's a powerhouse. And now setting up. For Tombstone, plants cash, and that's it. Well, I knew Cash was going to have it working out for him. He has a much bigger and stronger opponent. I don't think that Cash was necessarily expecting how quick. Luchasaurus could be and is. Pretty impressive victory here for this half reptile, half man. In his defined debut, Luchasaurus with the victory over Cash. And I can only assume just as quickly as he was transported here to Seattle, he'll just as quickly transport himself back to that alternate universe of Lucha Underground.
Half Lucha, half Soros. In his words, Luchasaurus gets the win here this week on Define Out. Looking forward to December the 14th at Washington Hall in Seattle. The show is almost sold out. Standing room tickets are available. But don't wait to get to the door because, again, that show will sell out. Get them right now, DefyWrestling.com. And hey, Defy's second anniversary event in Seattle set for January the 19th. As you're watching this one, tickets are available right now and expecting another sellout for our second anniversary event. Again, January the 19th in Seattle. Make your plans now. It is going to be a memorable, memorable night of action. Tickets available at DefyWrestling.com. Don't wait. Don't get shut out. December the 14th, January the 19th in Seattle. Next time on Defy Now, we bring you the entire event from Defy PDX in Portland. Earlier matches that we announced, Shaft goes one-on-one -on -one with Darby Allen. The American Guns take on the team of Joey Ryan and Randy Myers. And check out this one. Ray Phoenix battles Ray Oris. It's a battle of luchadors. These two are renewing pleasantries. They've been adversaries. They've been tag team partners. Who will get the edge? We're going to find out next time on Defy Now. And we've been waiting months for this one. Shane Swerve Strickland finally gets his long-awaited rematch with the belt collector, Austin Aries. Swerve looking to recapture the Defy Championship, but something tells me Swerve might want to be mindful that MJF could very well have it out for him after what's happened in recent weeks. Can't wait for this one. The Defy Championship on the line, Aries versus Swerve next time right here on Defy Now. But this time, it is time for our main event. Johnny Defiance returns to Seattle. And while Randy Myers might be thinking about his tag team match with Joey Ryan next time, let's hope he's able to focus on what's here and now. And that is one of the most agile and experienced competitors to set foot in a Defy ring. The Weirdo Hero takes on Johnny Defiance. It's our main event this time on Defy Now, and it's next.